What is up my Irish Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and its operator. So there's potentially 10 operators. These are the operators that were seen anyway that we were able to see. And I'm just going to kind of list them off and talk a little bit about them. So the first one is Adler. This is one of the main characters in the campaign of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and it actually tells us he is a part of MACV, SOG and CIA. A new person we haven't seen or even really heard about is Baker. He's an American and he is a part of the Navy SEALs. The third operator then is named Garcia which is a part of the DGI. We also got Sims, another main character in the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold Wars campaign and he is also a part of MACV and the SOG. The next operator then we have is Portnova who we are told is a part of the KGB. After Portnova we got Stone which is Milsim so the Milsim characters are just like some of the operators in Modern Warfare. They are just for the online part of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and have nothing to do with the campaign site. However, we could see more information come out on these characters when the full game is released or they don't want to give too much away and are just putting them down as Mil Sim. Another Mil Sim character we got is named or operator is named Song. After this we have Vargas, then Hunter and finally Powers. Now we also know Woods is coming because we saw him in a trailer for the game and it's going to be interesting to see how this works. Now looking at Modern Warfare they had a big story for the multiplayer and we could potentially or possibly see a huge story where maybe the operators in the multiplayer side could expand on the story of Black Ops Cold War's campaign which I personally wouldn't like to be honest what I would like is to have a separate story or even just a small story arc of the operators and the maps together because we know each map has a story behind them for example satellite satellite is set in the angolian desert in central africa an american recon satellite is downed nato and hired mercenaries race to find the satellite first moscow then is another map that we actually have a small backstory on set in moscow in the ussr a spetnaz squad is sent to a compromised CIA safe house leading to a conflict with dispatch CIA and JSOC. So what they should do is a separate story in the multiplayer side and could potentially reference parts in the campaign with certain characters like playing Adler. That's what I would do and think it would be better because Modern Warfare 2019's campaign was very very good however when they expanded on it in the multiplayer side of the game I didn't really like it like they could have held the likes of Ghost till the next installment of Modern Warfare series just to kind of hype it up but that's personally that's just me I wouldn't have done what they did in Modern Warfare because I still don't really know like I know the campaign missions like I know the story and that but then when it comes to the multiplayer side of it I'm like uh, I don't really know like they're going after a nuke maybe that's really all I know that they're going after a nuke and they blew up stadium and now the bunkers are in it's it's just really all over the place in my personal opinion I don't like it this is the way I would have done it but if they do it the other way it is what it is it's not gonna it's not gonna affect me because I won't really be involved in the whole thing yes i'll be making videos on it but i won't be kind of out there trying to fully do all the kind of easter eggs and everything like that and spend hours doing it i do not have that time sadly but i'll still report on it but yeah 
this is the end of the video guys i hope you did like it if you did please hit the like button right beside the like button is the subscribe button that you can hit to subscribe to my youtube channel beside that is a notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever i upload a video to my youtube channel or whenever i go live on my youtube channel which is rare speaking of live streams i tend to live stream weekly on my twitch channel link to that will be down in the description below once you're there you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever i go live over there i also have a twitter account that i manually update whenever i upload a video to my youtube channel or whenever i go live on my twitch channel link to that will be down in the description below as well but yeah that is it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace